Hello guys, this video I'm going to show you how you can delete within topology and how it can be useful. So in the previous video I showed you how you can delete edges in correct order to get rid of redundant topology. But here I want to show you how you can uh, do it all at once. And I want to show you um, in what situations you can come across this. So if I select this for example and I press O for offset, you can see I'm getting this uh, edge right here. I can then select it and uh, extrude it or just uh, offset it to get that. So in this situation it's useful. But what if we don't do anything with it? What if we just keep offsetting here and uh, they don't really do anything with it? This would not become redundant because it doesn't actually help the, the shape in any way. It's just some sort of topology on it. It's not really doing anything until we, of course, make it do something. And uh, a lot of times when you're drawing on a surface, for example, you know, I can do this. All right, let me uh, do that again. So, you know, something like that. I can then select that, press Shift I, imprint, select this surface. And you know, we've now got this right here. As you can see, it's not really doing anything unless we you know, do something with here, for example. And we can keep on working with this. So a lot of times this is useful for getting certain details on here and imprinting like various cool triangular details. And I can select this, for example, I can offset that. I can select this and I can offset that. And uh, maybe this as well. Uh, and then I can, you know, select various parts here and uh, extrude, for example. But if you don't do that, even, even if you do that, guys, even if you use this for a purpose, we still have all these redundant edges right here. So here's what you do. You simply go ahead and press F, and this accesses all your tools right here. Then you press DE, delete, redundant topology, and it gets rid of all the necessary edges here. So I find myself using this a lot. Be sure to use this to clean up your modeling here in plasticity and you will find that you will have a much cleaner more efficient modeling process thank you for watching and take care